Hello, guys. Welcome back to Cam's Tech Talk. Um, today, we are going to learn about Salesforce person account, um, how it works, how to create a person account, and what are the step-by-step -step configuration for this. Okay. Um, I'm going to do a demo. There won't be any theoretical session or anything. I'm sure you can YouTube uh, or look on Trailhead, what is person account. I will put the links as well for your reference if you want to read about person account. But I do have a separate video created um, to tell how the person account, how the business account, what is the client structure, okay? Well, let's have a look, a practical session, how this person account be created in Salesforce and what is the configuration, right? So let me take you to my screen straight so where you can see what is in the Salesforce for this, right? So here we go. I did open already a um, couple of trailheads where you can see connect with individual customers or I've also opened this. Um, it's the community from Salesforce. People are asking about the person account not getting or issues basically, but there are places to look for it. But I will put the step-by-step -step guide as well into the description, right? So. Coming back to my, my screen, um, I'm logged into Salesforce page and how did I get to set up? It's a very general stat, which is just this gear icon and you go to the setup screen and that opens a setup page like this. And from there, simply I have search P-E-R-S-O-N. So Salesforce has made this very, very simple thing because of, a um, lot of support tickets previously because usually um, used to be you have to create a support ticket to enable the person account in any org of Salesforce. But nowadays, simply come here. All you have to do, just follow the steps here. Um, you can see already there are two checkboxes um, enabled. It's green, which means the permissions are by default available. No need any change. All you need is the acknowledgement here. You click here and I understand. Uh, because I'm sure they're trying to say you can't go back. Once this is enabled, it's enabled. There are other ways to hide if you want to hide from your own, but you don't need to. That's why I'm enabling it. So hit continue. I've got the green check, which I love it. Next one is create a record type. So we need a business accounts record type needs to be created. So what I'm going to do is simply I click here on the screen, which says set up something, okay? Um, I hit set up here and let's go. And the new tab opens for me, which takes me to account page directly here. I can go directly from here as well, from my first tab, object manager, but I have a button. I use that button and I am going to click new. And we're going to call this a business account. And I'm going to paste. Let's make it a little pretty and uppercase letter on this and that. And make sure visibility to system administrator because I'm using developer org I have created. And obviously, I chose this as a person account. But anyway, that's simple and sweet. OK, next. So here I will select, okay, what are what is the default layout you want to pick for this? I would say because I'm creating a business layout, I will keep the same default account layout to take over. And I hit save here. Okay, that's done. Right, I have the business account uh, record type is created. And I took the layout from here, which is this one from the page layout. So one part is done. Now, let me show you, have there any change? Has been activated or not yet? I'm sure not, but I just want to show you one output before I proceed further. So I straight went to a sales app. I have an accounts tab there. I click on it, recent view, let's click all accounts don't need to do anything, just click on a new button. I'm create like I'm creating a new account. That showed a straight business account or account. Well, still there is no change. So this is by default, it's a business account, 
but there is no there's nothing at the moment and i can't tell you basically what's been but for me it's a business account with the default layout which is account layout and i'm sure it's going to def by default it will pick up business account record type as well behind the scene okay but now let's go back to my settings and here i have enabled this let's refresh this page let's see what happened right i've got another green box nice one now four green boxes and i can enable the person account bottom right hand side and i hit enable and then hit enable again and the person account successfully created now i can't go back be careful right now so you can see the steps so i have one more configuration before i go and see the person account okay so what do i have to do i have to go to profiles but again let's double check it i'm just showing you the screen interface again and again so you know what's happening and this is for beginners as well i know experienced people they might skip it i know that but for beginners this is important step look guys i clicked on new i can see business account at the top but i still can't see how to create a person account okay now coming back i close the screen and come back to let's close this tab we don't need it and i am coming back to profile P R O, right? Here we go. Profiles and oh, where it is? It's just it taking time. And look, here is where is my where is my system profile? One second. So next, and then we have a system administrator. And under the system administrator, Control F from your keyboard find i'm going to type record type and so many searches i will go to there we go there you go you can see it's only defaulted to business account i will hit add it and i can say person account the point is if you don't if your business doesn't deal with business account you can actually remove from here and what will happen at the new button, you can only see a person account, right? There are businesses. They don't use actually business accounts, so it's fine. You can use sole traders, accountancy, event management, small companies, they use it, okay? But because I need to show you guys, so this is here, save. Now, close this finding as well. So finally, I have enabled person account. I have created a record type. As soon as you enable person account, it did create a layout as well, which I'm going to show you now under the object manager, right? And I will say quick point, you can actually see the person account here. There we go. And they have a page layout as well by default. So it's a, this is the default layout, okay? Um, and this is a detailed page of the person account, right? Come back to here and refresh i'm just refreshing it that's just, just a feel because i'm on developer account you never know if anything happens so click here and hit new or you can click this new button on the right hand side and new hey look it looks nice i click new and look here new account person account right at the top of your screen you got first name and last name this is the biggest difference now cancel the screen and hit new again uh and oh sorry uh let's refresh one more time it happens developer accounts sometimes and now click new again and i get business account business account means i don't get first name and last name it's a different one i will cover the list views how to split how to filter and all that i will cover in the next video but this is how to create a person account you know how to do it now. See ya. Bye-bye, everyone. Peace, guys. Nice.